China has just unleashed a geopolitical bombshell so massive it could completely upend the global technology landscape. In a move that stunned even the most seasoned analysts, Beijing has severed all ties with the West's semiconductor giants. ASML and TSMC are out completely permanently. This wasn't a negotiation tactic or a temporary pause, it was a sharp, decisive break. Drawing a hard line in the silicon sand, one moment China was deeply entwined in the delicate global semiconductor ecosystem, the next it stepped away leaving the world reeling in disbelief. This isn't simply a supply chain disruption, it marks the dawn of a new global tech order, with consequences extending far beyond what most are prepared for. For years the semiconductor world balanced on a fragile axis. Advanced Dutch lithography machines, Hypersafe and Taiwanese foundries, American design expertise and Chinese manufacturing all linked in a high-stakes dance. But that axis is now tipping. As Washington tightened export bans and blacklists, Beijing didn't remain passive. Quietly and deliberately, China readied itself for a future where the West would slam every door shut. And now, China is responding, not with protests, but with fire. On January 18, 2025, Beijing dropped its most decisive tech policy bombshell yet, an immediate total halt to any future dealings with ASML and TSMC. Just three days earlier, under U.S. pressure, the Dutch government revoked ASML's export license for DUV lithography machines to China and went further, cutting off all technical support and software updates for previously delivered equipment. This rendered $15 billion zero cents worth of precision machinery obsolete, crippling the core of China's chip production infrastructure. This was no policy disagreement, it was a surgical strike for a nation that imported $2 billion, $600 million zero cents in ASML tools in 2023. This was a harsh wake-up call. Reliance on foreign tech was a strategic vulnerability, even a national threat. But this wasn't an impulsive retaliation. It was the result of years of preparation. According to Dan Wang of Gavakal Dragonomics, China had anticipated this moment for a long time, watching and studying as the West edged from competition toward containment. When that shift came, China acted not to isolate itself, but to declare liberation. It was Beijing's statement that it would no longer play by foreign rules. The 2022 U.S. sanctions aimed to choke China's semiconductor ambitions by blocking access to EUV scanners, AI chips, advanced memory, and foreign talent. Instead of stalling China, these measures sparked an unprecedented response. Between 2022 and 2024, China poured more than $75 billion zero cents into its domestic chip sector through sovereign funds, state banks, and national initiatives. Despite restrictions, semiconductor equipment imports surged 34% in 2024, signaling an all-out sprint toward independence. As Paul Triolo of Albright Stonebridge Group put it, sanctions didn't slow China, they compressed a decade-long roadmap into a high-pressure three-year sprint. But it wasn't just money driving this. China mobilized its greatest asset, its people. Over 50,000 engineers, many veterans from Huawei, SMIC, and other tech giants were redirected into building a rapidly expanding semiconductor ecosystem. These engineers are not just workers, they are nation builders. The results are becoming impossible to ignore. What was once a fragmented catch-up industry is rapidly transforming into a self-sustaining powerhouse. The technology gap between China and the West is closing fast. China isn't just catching up, it's forging entirely new paths. Take ASML's EUV machines, the crown jewels of chip making, essential for crafting the tiniest, fastest chips. Not a single EUV scanner has made it past export controls to China. But China isn't waiting. It's investing in alternative technologies, reverse engineering legacy systems, developing next-gen immersion DUV tools, and betting heavily on photonics, quantum simulation, and stealth startups flying under Western radar. Where the path is blocked, China builds new ones. This isn't just a story about technology, it's a seismic shift in global power. The smartphone in your pocket, the autonomous vehicles of tomorrow, the AI shaping our world all depend on semiconductors. For decades, the West controlled the chips, but that grip is slipping. This shift is rewriting who holds influence 
not just in technology, but in information, defense, and economic growth. As China accelerates its march to break free from Western dependence, the old global playbook is being torn apart. The semiconductor battle is no longer hidden behind closed doors. It's center stage. What comes next won't just define tech's future, it will shape global power itself. While the rest of the world waited for access, China moved swiftly and boldly, skipping EUV altogether. In March 2025, Shenzhen's Sakar announced a lithography system capable of fabricating chips below 7 nanometers using only UV technology once thought obsolete for that level of precision. The claim awaits independent validation, but if confirmed, it's revolutionary. Then came Huawei's Mate 60 Pro. More than a flagship device, it was a shockwave featuring a 7nm chip crafted entirely with legacy tools, no ASML EUV, no cutting-edge Western tech. The world believed DUV couldn't scale that far, China proved otherwise. This phone was a signal flare, a declaration that China will survive, build, and thrive without Western permission. By late 2024, whispers grew louder. SMIC, China's state-backed semiconductor titan, was prototyping 5nm chips and pushing toward 3nm using quad patterning and AI-assisted yield optimization, without EUV, crude perhaps, but effective. China isn't just reacting anymore, it's advancing, evolving, and pushing forward with what it has and what it can invent. This shift transcends chips. It's about sovereignty. Every nanometer conquered is a step away from foreign dependence. Every factory built, every patent filed, every homegrown tool developed is a move in a bigger game. Beijing is playing for keeps, refusing to rely on foreign tools, software patches, or repair crews in distant time zones. China is building a fully sovereign end-to-end -end semiconductor ecosystem. In 2023, over 85% of China's high-performance chips were imported. By late 2024, that dropped below 60%, and the decline is accelerating. Beijing's message to its tech sector is ruthless. No more leaning on the West. No more excuses. Adapt or vanish. Build or be left behind. This hardline stance is fueling a national innovation sprint that's already bearing fruit. ASML's China revenue fell 27% year-over-year in Q4 2024. Western suppliers face not only shrinking orders, but the looming threat of obsolescence in markets they once dominated. What's unfolding is not a mere supply chain adjustment. It's a wholesale rewrite of the global tech economy. Power is shifting. Influence is redirecting. The world is witnessing one of the fastest industrial pivots in modern history. And chips are only the beginning. Behind the scenes, Beijing is escalating its strategy, quietly offloading U.S. tech assets and sovereign debt with surgical timing. This isn't tantrum or chaos, it's financial warfare aimed at shaking the pillars of the global order. When semiconductor conflict becomes a battle over capital, when the battleground shifts to bond markets and currency reserves, the stakes become immense. If China weaponizes its capital flows, the fallout will ripple through retirement funds, mortgage rates, and national debt servicing. A single shift could spark tremors on Wall Street, even earthquakes. What began as a battle over chip-making tools risks becoming a systemic threat to the modern financial architecture. The storm isn't coming, it's already here, though many haven't noticed. By the end of 2024, China filed over 21,000 semiconductor patents, a 34% increase from the prior year. This isn't about numbers, it's about strategic leverage, transforming dependency into dominance. China is standing tall, looking the global tech order in the eye and saying, we don't need you anymore. The semiconductor race was just the opening act. The real war, one that will decide who controls the future, is moving into global markets, capital flows, and the very structure of the systems underpinning modern civilization. This time, the stakes are higher than ever, not just who makes the next chip, but who writes the next rules. Stay alert. What unfolds next is not just technological evolution, it's the start of a new global alignment, one where the balance of power could shift irrevocably, and the world will never be the same again.